All right, we are in the inn and tavern sign room here at the uh, Connecticut Historical Society uh, and Museum and Library. Look at this. I am in my element here. <laughs> I am in my element. This is so cool. You know, it's funny, I've, as I've gone around the country, I've noticed signs like, for example, the Sitco sign <laughs> in Boston where we were just at and how it kind of is a piece of Americana. And the people in Boston know it too. And, uh, you know, they're fighting to save the sign and they save the sign. And, um, you know, so it is so nice to see these pieces of history saved and preserved by the Connecticut Historical Society. They have the largest collection of these inns and tavern signs in the country, okay? And uh, it is phenomenal. You learn a lot by, by looking at these signs and seeing these signs, okay? Um, this is from, what, 1749. Okay, look how the word horse is spelled. Okay, 1749. Now that's before the American Rev Revolution. Okay, and it's before people like Noah Webster, who lived uh, somewhere around here in the neighborhood, or at least was born around here in the neighborhood. Um, kind of put the uh, American language uh, uh, in formal, you know, formal code that everybody can share and all Americans can, uh, you know, write the same thing, okay, spell the same thing. Um, this is just phenomenal, phenomenal, looking at some of these signs, okay. Um, a few here I want to call to mind. Um, I can find them again here. Oh, here's one. Gentlemen, you are welcome. Sit down at your. Now, what's that word? When I first saw it next to the glass, I thought cafe. You know, that the E was really a C and the F is the F. No, that E is an E. But that F in, in early uh, American English, we'll say, um, was pronounced as an S, okay? So gentlemen, you are welcome. Sit down at your ease, pay what you call for, and drink what you please. William M. Gordon, proprietor. <laughs> See, this was, this was all before the neighborhood boy would kind of put things right, at least here in America. Now, you also had in England, of course, and then before him, I think, before Webster, you had uh, 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 Samuel Johnson uh, uh, doing it for the, the language. But uh, none kind of did it for a more nationalistic, puritanical, you know, American, distinctly way than Noah Webster did. Okay. 
Now check this out too. Um, you got here, I've noticed, um, first of all, this is interesting. You got uh, H. Rose, who was probably the owner, and then you got a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Okay, now that's a, an adage that we've all heard. I don't know the source, but what attracted me first to this sign was symbol. Remember that from, from the, 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 the Masons, the Freemasons in Boston. And uh, there's a number of those uh, uh, symbols here that... Uh, the staff here is grouped of Freemason uh, symbols and stuff. Okay. Um, and now, uh, now besides that, you also got the bird imagery here for some reason. The bird in the hand. Okay. So check with my Google Plus, and, and I'm going to try to figure out what the significant significance of the bird in the hand is to these signs, okay, because um, they're all, there it seems to be a theme for some reason, all right, besides the, 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 the symbols or the imagery that, you know, it's kind of a custom, I think, in, in a lot of these a lot of these uh, signs here. Okay, but I'll see if I can look that up and find out, you know, what the bird in the hand is. Now check this out. How many times have you seen that eagle? Okay. It's for Pentapons Tavern. Okay, how many times have you seen that eagle? I mean, how many times have you seen it on coins or whatever and such? Check out the year. This sign was painted four years after the American Revolution. Okay. Does that blow your mind? Wonderful collection here. In the Connecticut uh, Historical Society Museum and Library. Okay, and I like this above the doorway. I don't know if you can read it. I'm not going to zoom because then I'll lose any focus that there may be uh, on it. Um, George A. Chaffee, as you journey through life, let us live by the way. <laughs> And it's right over the door here to the Inn and Tavern signs and the Connecticut Histor Historical Society. 